Oh, oh there we oh, go. There we go. There All right, Daphne, we're live. Oh my goodness, this is probably the most exciting Monday <laughs> that I, I, I'm having right now. <laughs> we got we got special guests. I got an update looking forward to to look forward to tonight. Okay. I got I got all sorts of stuff going on. Oh Lord. Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's Monday. Monday, May 16th, 2022. And, and you are watching the Raging Two. I didn't even need my post it today. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just glad you kept saying Monday. So it worked. Well, that's true. It, yeah. it worked for me. It is Monday, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Monday. Yeah, yeah it's Monday. It's Monday. Yeah, you ready for this? Ready. All right, here's our intro. Yeah. Folks. We'll be right back. to get some adrenaline in the morning oh, yeah really all right really. so uh like now i've lost the card daphne Oop. oh no oh there we there go we are. so wow so welcome everybody to another to another episode of the raging two show uh <laughs> the show is awkward as is its title um so another monday lots of things going on you know that's uh Oh, brother. So welcome, everybody, to another episode. Welcome, everybody, in the chat. Welcome, everybody who's watching us from regions beyond. Uh, my name is Daphne Lage, and I am a cartoonist, illustrator, and comic book artist from New York. I have been self-publishing comics since 1992, and I am known for the funny animal fantasy adventure Tall Tales with volume four, my proof, coming in the next couple of days. I'm so excited. And I'm also known for my medieval fantasy soap opera, Eagle Raven, Heir of the First Unicorn, of uh, the last of the, well, except for the people with sketch covers, but everybody else, all your packages have gone out. So watch, watch your mailboxes. Um, you can read both my comics online at Tall Tales, T A I L S online.com and egoworks.com. And you can check out all my videos on how I make my comics on YouTube, on my channel at Daphne Lage, L-A-G-E Art, as well as being simulcast to the Raging 2 Network, which if you are watching us from regions beyond, from Twitter, from Facebook, wherever else you have seen, you're seeing these links, come on over to YouTube, join the sexy people in the chat. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time we go live. And we go live a lot. So, you know, so hit that bell and join us over here. And Nita, tell the peoples who you are. Uh, my name is Nita Lanning. I am a writer, vlogger, blogger from Southeast Louisiana. I am, I know, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. He's impressed already. <laughs> Well, this is really going to blow your mind because for some reason I'm the CEO and executive producer of this network over here. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it right now. Right. Wow. I, I mean, yeah. So, wow. like I, <laughs> so like I said, it's, it's, it's Monday again, a very exciting Monday. We have a cool guest coming up in a couple of minutes. Uh, but uh, let's do, do, do we have like any housekeeping to... Uh, to talk about i mean oh yes yes we do absolutely i was just talking about how my proof is coming in the next couple of days but yes the pre-launch page to tall tales themes quest volume four the end of the series well the uh the story arc that started it all for me so the pre-launch page is up so you can sign up to get notified when the campaign goes live on June 13th, 2022. And this book is volume four of the Thieves Quest story arc. It completes the story arc, but trust me, there is more tall tales on the way. There's always more tall tales on the way, but this completes the first, uh, the, this is the, the first story arc. So make sure you sign up 
for that when it goes live on June 13th. Um, and yes, House of Bob, the Drawing Night stream, where me and Nita spend uh, the night uh, talking and drawing stuff that's not appropriate for the day crowd. So yeah, so our next show will be on May 28th at 10 p.m. to midnight. And our topic for, uh, this, uh, for this episode is going to be Rule 34 and uh, now all that dirty fan art that made you <laughs> think different things about your favorite cartoon characters. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Daphne, Daphne. You know how we, you know how we had the baby's first furry. Yes, we got baby's first fan art pros now. Oh no! Oh yes, ma'am. It starts here. We go. But in the meantime, all you people uh, uh, with all your campaigns, uh, you need your Gemini mailers to get uh, your fulfillment ready. So save five percent on your next Gemini mailer order with our coupon code Ragin to send your uh, books out in style shipping is expensive enough make sure that everybody gets their books in absolute pristine condition so take advantage and also if you have any questions comments um anything you want us to talk about uh on the show uh no question too silly but our answers might be you can email us at ragingavc at gmail.com uh yeah it's like uh uh, whatever you you want us to talk about, we'll talk about. It. You'll be surprised, <laughs> so you you can uh, try us out. And yes, yeah, so Nina, I am excited today, not only because of our upcoming guest, but my hentai game uh, update. Uh -oh. Today. <laughs> oh, oh, Seeds that's of chaos. The update. Oh, Seeds, Seeds of chaos updated with its uh with its latest uh Steam up quarterly Steam update, and I think now I am ready to fuck myself up on that game. <laughs> so, so, so are you working today, Daphne, or are you fornicating online? No, no, well, no, no. This is going to be my reward for working today. So, <laughs> so probably around like 10 p.m. before I go to bed, I'm going to spend an hour starting the game over just to- uh, Unwinding. Just to unwind. So yeah, no, no, no. But you see, that, that's the funny thing though. It's a hentai game, but it's the story that gets me the most upset. So. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so I think I'm ready. I'm 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 ready to to move on 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 this uh, on this game. I, I think um, I'm ready to do evil deeds. <laughs> I think I think I'm committed to evil deeds on this game. So so oh my gosh, yeah. So you know, so there we go. So I, I know it's a weird thing to be excited about, but I I don't have uh, I, I get you. I get you. I, I, I don't have many outlets <laughs> away from work. So um, this is uh, this is pretty much it. So yeah, so there we go. Oh, if anyone's interested, Seeds of Chaos is uh, nineteen ninety nine, nineteen nineteen dollars on Steam. Not Spawn, but I would love to be. Call me. <laughs> be a star. Call me. Oh my gosh, that'd be great. <laughs> I will completely pledge fealty <laughs> to uh, supporting your game, which technically I do because I also support their Patreon. So, oh, yes, wow. I am a hot mess for this game, so, oh, well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You want to throw some bumps to foreshadow yes, this awesome dude that's hanging out in the back? Yes, exactly. We did. We, look, I vacuumed. I, I, I got everything cleaned up. I got the new chair that makes me look like I'm on the USS Get Off My Lawn. And <laughs> it's like, you know, we're all good. We're all ready. So hit those bumps so we can bring, uh, bring our guest in. All right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> It's Monty Moore. I am a 30 year comics veteran in comics, games, and movies. And you've been watching one of my absolute favorite podcasts, Catch the Craze. You are watching Catch the Craze. What am I listening to? And you're listening to Catch the Craze. Where are all the indies at? A Catch the Craze podcast. What are you watching? I'm watching Catch the Craze. What are you going to do? Subscribe now to Catch the Craze, the number one show online for independent. Have you subscribed to? You are an independent. Catch the Craze! Making moves on your own. Catch the Craze! On your grind in the street. Catch the Craze! Join the movement. Catch the Craze! Super Battle.
Doom, and we are back, folks. Oh. Oh. You ready for it? Oh. Oh. oh, hello, George. Good morning. Well, it's more like brunch time, but almost <laughs> brunch time. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good. We're, we're doing excellent. And uh, ah. to, uh, to, to, to shout out to uh, some people in the chat, Allison yes. is talking about how uh, people spell her name wrong, and Joe <laughs> made a joke about how many people spell, misspell Joe. And um, yes, so we're talking to George with a J. And trust me, nobody even knows how to spell my name until I remind them it's from Scooby Doo. And then all of a sudden, everyone is spelling <laughs> the champion. So, yes, I, I absolutely know the feeling That's about funny. people not being able to spell out uh, our names. So, so, George, welcome yes. to the show. Thank you for wow. having me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Always welcome. Always welcome. You're, it's like, uh, I, I mean, it's like it, it's kind of trippy. It's like you know, like it, it's like we're we're kind of like the old school. It's like you know, you, you yeah. were you know, yeah. you we were running around the same circles mm -hmm. about like I think there's what maybe like a seven year difference between when we started and you guys yeah. started or something. Yeah. But yep. And um, so yeah, so and so here you are with your first. This is your first Kickstarter campaign, right? For, for my Wonder first. Duck. My first, yeah, my first solo campaign with uh, right. for for Wonder Duck, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, right, it's, but go ahead. No, no, it's no. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I was gonna say we, I was um, I did a couple of indie go -Go's like years ago before, like you know the big you know crowdfunding boom. I did uh -huh. I did a couple with uh, my buddy Anibal Arroyo and um, and Jonathan Syfax. We did two, one for a book called Street Journal, and one for um, Anibal's book called. Um, a little Steve's closet, but that was way before. Like, and we were so afraid of Kickstarter at the time because Kickstarter was always you. If you don't get any, you know, if you don't make right. the goal, you don't get anything. Whereas mm -hmm. Indiegogo has that flexible campaign, so we decided to go flexible because we weren't sure how we were going to do. It. And we did actually pretty well for the time because back then it was looked as begging. You know, like oh, you're begging right, yeah. for money. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, so so I did that before, but this is my first solo campaign for uh, for Wonder Dog. And and right out the gate, it's like you know, it's like one. It was the most suspenseful launch uh, show. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like, uh, I mean, if anybody missed it, head on over to catch the oh failure launch and see god. the launch show for um, Wonder Duck, uh, where we learned that uh, that Kickstarter had some really annoying <laughs> updates that got in the way. Oh. Um, but, but we did get it launched. Um, oh. we, yes, we, we did. We, we hacked the matrix and, and we got it launched. You did. And, you did. and right out the gate, you funded in about like 40 minutes. Yeah, it was, you know, and, and let me tell you something. I didn't like I had done, you know, obviously, you know, all the work that goes behind the scenes yes. before any campaign launches. Uh -huh. And then so I'm thinking, OK, I'm ready, man. Like I had my I had my campaign design. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, all right, we're going to go live and we're going to hit this button. And that's it. We're gonna go live, and then, and then there was a freaking just a complete mess trying to launch it. And I'm like, what the heck happened? Like, what am I doing? And we were live on the show, eight thirty. We're like, we're launching. I, I don't think we launched until about nine o'clock. And Something thank you, like Dad, because you hacked in there, you matrix that thing, and and you got it going. But it was like, I was like, holy. And and big shout out to everybody who kind of stuck around because people. That actually, was the funniest. Yeah. Part. People yeah. actually stuck, and the jokes were blasting. My uh -huh. kids are gonna be in college by the time this launches, ha ha ha. Which was cool. I mean, it was a vibe. Right. It was it like was, a total vibe. It was a party. It, it, it was, was a party. Yeah. And 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 then and then boom, we you know it 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 funded, and I'm like, holy crap, man! Like it's like it you was know, great. everybody was hanging around with their yeah. friends and stuff, and you're trying yeah. to get the barbecue going, yes. the fire would go. Yes. You know yeah. that's that's kind of like what it was. <laughs> yeah. No, it was. It was a mess, but it was uh -huh. fun. It was fun. Fun. it was a good time and then you know uh -huh. so we we launched it it funded and then a few later i get a few days later i get the uh, project we love badge right the one right. that we are all looking to get right so like, yeah i mean it cow. took it took me two issues you know two campaigns yeah, yeah. For, to, to finally get one i got one on the third issue of eager raven right and then right. i kind of like been getting them steady since yes. which, which means which kind of proves to me that that somebody is looking at our stuff like once they, mm. they notice your stuff yeah. that's like they're always noticing your stuff yeah. so 
Yeah. That, that's kind of a, 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 a good, uh, yeah, it, it was, it's very nice to get, isn't it? It is nice. <laughs> it, you know, like they, they send you this email, it's all flowery, you know, we're uh -huh. highlighting, you know, high level uh -huh. creative projects. And you're like, oh, I'm a high level creative project. Uh -huh. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you just get gassed. You're like, yeah, yeah baby. But it's such a good, yeah, it's a, it was, it's such a rewarding thing because we work yeah. really hard at these campaigns and mm -hmm. putting these things together. Yeah. And so when you get that, you know, other than yeah. obviously the pledges and, you know, right, that, yeah. but then to also get the recognition from the platform in which you're in, which yeah, obviously they're exactly. going to make money yeah. off of your project anyway, but it's yeah. just nice to, to, to get that recognition. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. So uh, going back a bit. So before there was Wonder Duck for you, there yeah. was another book called Russ. Yes. Uh, Russ 5377. Yeah. yeah. And now, now the thing is, what, uh, what made you like decide that Wonder Duck was going to be the project you were kind of like pushed forward? I mean, it, it, is Russ finished? Is that why? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, R Russ, I completed Russ a few years back. I actually finished the first four issues of Wonder Duck a few years back also, but so we're we're on this big push for like kids comics right mm -hmm. among like even with sam when we talk about right, it on yeah. the show all the time and so while russ is not necessarily you know for the mature audience it's a it's an older crowd you know it's an older kids crowd i guess maybe sure. 16 and, and over okay. so i decided you know what let, let me let me launch a a kids a, a book that's for kids you know let, mm -hmm. let me launch that because I, I created it back when i was a kid i created it back in like the early like late 80s early 90s right. and so I was like, let me go with this one. Plus, my um, Wonder Dog is actually being published through Dark Fire Press, which is oh. a small indie publisher. Right. I have yeah. uh, my copy right here. Oh, yeah. You have the old school one. Too. Right. That was, so, so that, that that's was before. Old. Yeah. That was right. before I even got so, yeah. I linked so up with them. For everybody who's um, looking at seeing the campaign right now, so this campaign is what a continuation of this original trade that came out? Yeah. Yep. And is the trade available on yes. your campaign? Okay, so so no one's going to be missing out on anything. Yeah, no, no, right. that cover is not available though. You oh, you okay. have like an exclusive cover because right. once once I once I I was picked up by Darkfire Press, we we changed it to to this one. So this right, is, mm -hmm. this is yeah, that's the and, one that I keep seeing. Yeah, yeah, and this is the one that's available on the. Uh, Right, because I think right this now. one was like one of your prototypes. I think yes. this is one of your proofs, right? That you yeah. were, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, you know. So, uh, uh, yeah, so, um, so yeah, that, yeah, that there is like this big thing about like putting out more, uh, family friendly comics and what, so that was like your main motivator for, yeah. uh, for putting out Wonder Duck first. I mean, is there, go, is there going to be a, a Russ? A, are you also going to put out Russ eventually? So, or? That, so that's, that's, that's the question I ask myself, like, uh -huh. am I going to put Russ out there? And. I'm work. I'm actually working on a, on a on a on a story for Russ that continues from where I left off, and that one that, and that one's a six issue like mini series. It's compiled in like a 144 page book, mm -hmm. and that one's available on my website. But yeah, I, I thought about putting that out um, once again. I'm just I think it's all about timing, and right, right. now I'm so mm -hmm. focused, hyper focused on this. Yeah, that I, 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 I want to. Yeah, I want to put everything into this, and then. You know, seeing how this goes and where I go from here, I'll, I'll possibly go back into the uh, the Russ, you right. know, archives and maybe maybe put that book out. Right now, now here's here's the thing that I think a lot of people don't know is that you originally started out as an artist. Yes. And yes. now you're not an artist anymore, or no. at least it's not. So, so tell us about what happened there. Yeah, my my, my dreams were crushed by a critic. Oh no. Um, so. That's all it took. Well, check it out. So, so, so you know, it's like sometimes you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. Um, so I, so I was drawing Russ originally back mm -hmm. when I started. Um, you know, when I was, you know, I've always liked to draw as a kid. I've always loved drawing, um, but I wasn't the most um, skilled artist. And I got to be honest with myself. And it's partly is because, and to be honest, I just didn't put in the work. Daphne, mm -hmm. you're an amazing artist, but you put in that work. You know what I mean? You're you're working all the time. Oh, I you. was I was a lazy artist. You know what I mean? Uh, like I, I love I love drawing cartoony stuff, but I never learned the anatomy, the perspective, which is the stuff that when you look at a piece, you're like, wow, that looks incredible. Right? I just want to color in your lines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 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 I was drawing the Rust book, and I was coloring the Rust book. I was doing all of it, right? 
this was back in like early 2000s and and then so i sent my book out like we used to and we still do i send my book out to a critic i said hey can you check it out so the dude writes it freaking yo he called it garish and the color yeah <laughs> he ripped it he ripped it but he liked the story right oh. and i was like maybe i'm more of a writer than an artist ah. right? so, but then i said you know what fuck this guy i'm gonna write this story myself i'm gonna oh. hire an artist i get you like fine you rip the art whatever but I'm gonna finish this thing because I started and, and 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 when I was writing it back then, I had done three issues and I had hit a roadblock. I had no idea where else I was gonna go with the story. So I I revamped the whole thing. I was like, I'm gonna rewrite this thing. And so I, I hired a, a group of artists who actually are the artists on Wonder Duck. Um, oh, the, yeah, yeah, Big Cat, Cat, Big Cat, Cat Studios. Studios. Yeah, yeah, they're out in the Philippines. Great group of guys, amazing group of guys. And so I hired them to do uh, Russ. And I, I basically told him, Hey, listen, I'm looking for like a Boondocks meets uh meets um dragon ball z give me that yeah. style you know mm -hmm. and i drew the characters i send them all the characters and i still do to this day i draw all of my characters i design all of my characters because i don't want the whole stanley ditko thing you know right. I mean? like who created mm -hmm. spider-man i created right. these characters it's right. my, they're my designs you mm -hmm. just have to make them look pretty so right. i send them out and they did the book and i finished it and i was like eh, fuck this guy i finished my book i'm good to go so so I, I decided, you know what? F it, man. I'm just going to I'm just going to continue writing and I'm going to I'm going to put all of my efforts into writing rather than than drawing. And so that's that's so that's how it that ended. Well, I mean, it's so, not so sad, you know, well, so you know, it, it kind of sucks that that it, it took garish to kind oh, of like, you know, I you was know, like, kind of like shake yeah. your wheels. But at the mm -hmm. same time, it kind of also puts you on the right track. Yeah. Because yeah. you felt like in the end, writing was your bigger strength Correct. than, than artwork. Right. And that's what I'm saying. Sometimes yeah. you just got to be honest with yourself. You know, right. like if, are you willing to put in the work to continue or or not? And, right. and if you're not, then what are you going to do? And my decision was, let me write. I'm going to write. I'm going to put all of right. my all of my efforts into being a better writer and just writing books. So right. so that, that's where I am. That's that's right. where I am now. And, and so with Wonder Duck, so uh, now the thing is, oh, so so was Russ and Wonder Duck kind of like, oh, they were created at the same time thing, or Wonder, it's just like Wonder Duck? I created Wonder Duck in the, in like 1990, and and it's funny because the book has in the back of the book, you'll see some of the early designs that I did of mm -hmm. wonder duck in the back of the book so you'll see some of my artwork in there so it was it was a, and the only reason i know what year it was is because i used to i used to date everything i drew when i did it at the bottom of it so i found some of these drawings i'm like oh here he is so i created wonder duck first i didn't create um russ until 1999 but i went with russ i, I just wow. i had this idea for russ and i just went with that one and i just continued with that but wonder duck was always in the back like in the back of my mind mm -hmm. so in 2006 i started revamping the story you know i started changing it around adding the worlds that are in the story now you know the characters that are in the story now i started adding that stuff changing the designs and then i hired the guys over in the philippines to start working on the new scripts that i had written for the story which is eight of them all together mm -hmm. so that's yeah so so wonder duck was created first it just came out later right i guess it's like you went with with, with the one i guess russ russ called you first yeah. even yes. though wonder duck yes. existed first so yes. so so you said that so is wonder duck going to be an eight issue series yes. mm -hmm. so so this is so for the campaign that's that's now that that's that's for issue one of eight so so check that so this is what i did so this is the strategy okay. so you guys so in the campaign you can get the first because the first right. four issues are in here so right. one through four are ah, in here. okay yeah this campaign is for issue five so uh -huh. this is this is issue five. ah okay so right. issue so five jumps off situation. yeah so right. issue five jumps off part two because this one's labeled if you are in takeover part one right and then part two is the one that's kicking off with uh -huh. this campaign Right. So it's issues five, six, seven, and eight, and the artist are already working on issue six, and I obviously have the um, have the scripts for issue seven and eight. So once all of that is done, I'm hoping to put it again into a, a graphic novel. Like these these are never going to be printed again. I'm not doing single right. issues. It okay. just costs too much money. You oh know, yeah. I've I found that graphic novels have a longer shelf life. Yeah. And so I can always put a barcode in the back, and uh -huh. sell this thing forever. You know right. what I mean? So. 
So I'm going to do that with ish with the, the second part of the story and then have it hopefully ready by the end of next year. So that's what I'm going to okay. do. And then in this campaign, what I'm adding to the campaign as part of one of the strategies is the golden ticket, I call it. And basically, if you are guys are fans of Willy Wonka and Chuck Fat Jaggers, but the, the golden ticket essentially says that as a thank you for pledging to the campaign, somebody randomly will get these golden tickets in their package when it arrives to them. And then when they find me at any convention or any anything that I'm doing in 2023, at the end of 2023, I will hand them a free copy of that second part of the wow. story. So they can get the whole story for free, just for pledging to the campaign. Now, what I'm doing is I'm doing that in increments of 25 backers. So every 25 backer, a golden ticket is 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 unlocked ah. and put into the thing. So right now I'm I'm, I'm on the hook for three. So three people, three, wow. people, three people are going to get that. And hopefully, hopefully more, hopefully more. Every right. 25, I'll be throwing that into the campaign. Right. Yeah. So speaking of strategy, I mean, that was the one thing that uh, me and Nita, it's like we, we always, we always love researching people's campaigns yeah, and research talking about people. your campaigns behind yeah exactly <laughs> yeah exactly you know and, and talking about you know it's like okay well we see what what they're doing and what this person's doing and what works and what doesn't work and um you're you were doing a lot of what we felt were kind of like unusual things <laughs> yes. <A> strange <laughs> you know? and unusual you know, yes. right yeah you know and it's like very experiment i mean like for us you know because Kickstarter has a lot of limitations. It's like that. Right. It's like Kickstarter has limitations, just like Indiegogo has limitations. Yeah. And it was pretty interesting to see how you were maneuvering around Kickstarter's limitations in yeah. order to promote uh, to promote your campaign. Yeah. So we're just hitting. Uh, well, we're we're a little before the half hour mark. So why don't we throw a couple of bumps? And then when we come back, we can really get into talking about your strategy, your campaign strategies and, and what you're doing. So, uh, so there we go. <laughs> Hi, I am Joe Dean McPhee. I am the host of From the Desk of Small Press Publisher. And I want to cordially invite you to watch our show Saturdays at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. On our show, we will have different guests as well as talk about the comic book industry and pop culture. And every so often, I might actually do a drawing session or a 3D rendering session every here and there. So once again, I want to invite you to watch From the Desk of a Small Press Publisher right here on the broadcast channel that you're looking at, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Hope to see you there and make certain that you catch from the desk of a small press publisher at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks. Woo! <laughs> All, right. All right, you get one because I am like disabled <laughs> to the point right now. I'm about to crawl out of my skin. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Uh, yeah, the, the, the bandage. Uh, it's like, and for anybody, you know, for anybody asking, yes, she has a cast on her arm. It's like, look, she has five kids and had to catch up with her eventually. No! <laughs> That's that's what's going on. <laughs> so so yeah so so yeah so what we were especially with how you your campaign performed during that launch party, you probably had the most chill promotional campaign <laughs> that you know that 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 we were we were I mean we're so used to people being super aggressive and. You know, it, it, it's either like they're either super aggressive or they forget to promote. <laughs> yes, yes, you know? yes. And and you were kind of like in the middle where it's like, you know, it, it's not like you were inundating everybody with, with ads and posts and, and, and whatnot. But it was kind of like, it's like, oh, yeah, here I am. You know, here I am. Um, Did you kind of like think about what you were going to do? Or did you kind of like just kind of go with the flow? No, I, I, I thought about a lot of what I was uh -huh. going to do. I, I thought, and, and listen, and, and Nita, thank you so much. You've been very instrumental in like helping me out with a lot of that. And, and, and Meredith, may she rest in peace. You know, she was wonderful um, and big, really huge instrumental in just the advice that was given, right? It was, and, and, and to, your, to, your, to your credit, you guys were always like, dude, don't bombard them too soon. 
don't jump because I because listen, I had I had this freaking pre-launch pace since January, dude. Right, I'm like, yeah, right. so why would I be bombarding you in January with images of Wonder Duck is coming? Wonder Duck is coming, dude. It's coming. Because by the time you May. launch, people be sick yeah, of it. Yeah, they're, you know? they're sick of it. You're done. You're tired of it. So what I did was I put I, I did I almost had a schedule. And um what I did was on the first and fifteenth of every month, it was like freaking, it was like wick. But it was like the first and fifteenth of every month. I was month. doing it too, bro. <laughs> I would say, okay, let me put something up just so that you don't forget that I'm that it's coming, you know, right. that it's coming. And obviously, um, the way the algorithms work in, in Facebook, some people see it more than others. So you yeah. do have to kind of sprinkle in as much as you can and alternate between all of these freaking little, you know, little, I say little, these yeah. social platforms, right? Instagram, Twitter, um, which is the ones that I use the most, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So I'm alternating in between these different worlds, right? Bam, bam, bam. Throw it here, throw it there, throw it there. Just to keep it in your mind, but not flood you. It's almost like when you're trying to start a car, you don't give it too much gas before right. you turn that ignition. Old school cars anyway, now you have to push stuff. But you don't want to flood the engine. And that's kind of like what my mentality was. Don't flood the engine. Don't don't throw too much out there. Just enough so that they know you're still there, right? And I created a an Instagram page for Wonder Duck, and I started posting every week on Wednesdays, I would post three images and throw that out there and just kind of just, you know, do that from time to time. But my, the, my, I guess my campaign strategy is very similar to my, to just my, just the way I am. I'm very chill, man. I'm just like, I'm not in your face, but I'm still there. Like, I'm just that annoying. Like, I'm, I'm still around. I'm just not in your face every freaking day, but I'm here, you know, I'm here. And so I kind of, I kind of told that line and it's tough because it's a gamble because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't right. know if that's going to work. So I was totally gambling. But, you know, you have to look at, like you guys said, you have to look at other people's strategies and see what's working and see what's not working. Oh, that person did that. That that didn't seem to work because the numbers aren't going up. Oh, that person did this. Look at all those numbers they're getting. So let me see what works for me. And that was kind of like what my, my mindset was. But I did have a plan. Like if there was, there was a plan, it wasn't like I was just like, eh, let's just see what happens. I'm just going to launch and man. You know, it, there was definitely a, a plan and a strategy behind it all. Right. And, and the, the one thing that really stood out for me uh, with your campaign was how you took advantage of the pre-launch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because one of the big differences between Kickstarter and Indiegogo is that they both can do pre-launch. But on Indiegogo, you have direct access to the people who are signing up. So mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to incentivize sure. um, people signing up for a pre-launch. Kickstarter doesn't have that. It just has the little chart. If you, you know, if enough, if like over 10 people sign up, then you start yeah. seeing the number, but you don't see who signed up. You don't get that list of who signed up or, or whatnot. So but you actually figured out a way around that. Yeah. Um, so t tell us about that, what you did there. I, I have a friend who once said to me, probably some of the best and the most simplest advice. She, she said to me, she goes, if you want something, ask for it. Like, it's as simple as that. If you want something, just ask for it. So what I did was when I, I needed, because like you said, and, and I understand why why Kickstarter does it to protect people's you know personal information all that other stuff, but the way I looked at it is if you're following my page or if you're following the pre-launch page, if you want to get notified, there's an interest in the project. I just got to find out who is interested in that project and how am I going to find out? Let me just ask, right? So what I did was I, I contacted people and and through the show through the Catch the Craze show. I would say, hey, if you signed up to my page, let me know you signed up because I have something for you. I want to give you something for signing up, for saying I want to be notified. So I asked everybody who signed up to just send me a DM. Say, hey, I signed up to your page. And in return, I would email you a PDF of a print that I would then give to you physically if you pledge to the campaign on a physical level. So that seemed to work because people were now saying, hey, so if I notify, if I notify, if I notify you that I, I'm notified about your campaign, I get something cool. I'm in. I'm in. So I got a lot of people that saying, hey, here's my info. Send me that stuff. I'm happy to 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 to, um, to pledge to it. And when they do, they're going to get their stuff. So as of right now. And then the other thing was 
because I launched in like January. I figured, okay, I have about four or five months. If I can at least get like 25 people following my page a month, that's at least a hundred people following it. That's a nice round number. Let me, let me, let me go for that. Let me reach out for that. And sure enough, by the time the page launched, I was at a hundred. And right now, and right now, as of right now, I've, I've got about 49 people out of the hundred who have actually pledged to the campaign. Damn near 50%. Which, that is that's, insane. Yes, that's unheard yes. of. Usually yes. like yes. 20% yes. is considered like right. you're doing really well. But, yeah. but there's that engagement, man. There's yeah. that engagement. And it's something that we've lost in this, in this world of, oh, let's just look at each other through screens. Well, let's just like each other's stuff on Facebook. Oh, you, yeah. Daphne, you know, when we were yeah. at, when we were at, at shows and, and you yeah. were behind that table, it's about engaging that customer. Right, yeah, Stay here, yeah. check out my book. And that and creating almost like a like a rapport with your fan mm -hmm. base. So they say, yeah, you know what? That creator was cool, man. They actually right, spoke yeah. to me. They spoke to my kid. Now my kid wants to joke. And they're more willing right. to support that, you know, yeah. because we're humans. We yeah. need that human interaction. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. I tried to create that as much as I possibly could via whatever, you know, means yeah. I had, which was, you know, just a, a simple message. Hey, talk to me. Let right. me know you're following me. And it worked. It, that it, And again, gam we're gambling. We don't know what's going to work. That could have right. backfired. That could have been like, F you, man. I'm not giving you shit. No, no right. thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. I'm well, I mean, most, most of the time, if people probably would have just ignored it. Right, you know, true. it's like, okay, true. well, I'll, I'm pledging anyway. I'm going to get to print, so I'm not going to yeah. bother sending my email or whatnot. But right, right. I mean, the fact, yeah, the fact that you got almost like a 50% conversion rate. Yeah. I mean, Tate, my mind you, it's like a, a lot of people would consider, you know, like you took a chance <laughs> on giving people a free something. Yeah. Yeah. Just for signing up. I mean, signing up is not a pledge. You no. know, but you gave them no. something anyway. Yeah. And I'm, um, you know, it's like it's like, you know, that's actually pretty brilliant because not a, they, so they're getting something just for like looking, you know, like pretty much looking at a page and clicking yeah. on a button. And then it's like they get reminded that and then when it launches, they get reminded that uh that it launched, you know, that they pledged. I mean that that they so that they're watching. Right, right. And then right. they go, oh, this is the guy who sent me the print. Right. You know, right. And there's that little bit of pressure. It's like, well, he sent me a print. If I pledge, I get the physical version right. of the print. Let me right. go. I mean, it's just like it, it just kind of like like that little domino effect right. that it creates. Right. You know, I, I mean it yeah, and like I said, it was just like really, really interesting to watch and, and realizing that uh you got the result, this this type of result is just yeah. like, oh, interesting. And though the funny thing <laughs> is though, is that because of because of the the engagement that it requires, you yes. know, like you reaching out to people and people having to reach out for you. Mm -hmm. Um what's funny is that I it's like even though we're literally saying what you did, I, I still don't see a lot of people doing that. Right. Because right. it's like, they're almost like people are like, almost like, you know, because creators are hot messes, you know. <laughs> so it's like, we're like, oh, I have to talk to people. <laughs> no, and that's tough. That That, yeah. is, that, is, that right. is a tough, that is a tough thing. I mean, I think not, not everybody's going to, and again, that worked for me. It may right. not work for everybody else. True, I, I yeah. just think that, yeah, you have to be willing to do it. And, you know, sometimes you got to come out of your comfort zone and do that. Like, do I do I want to say, hey, and, and, and hear that? No, no, I don't. Right. Like, it sucks, dude. Like, uh -huh. but so, this is the thing. And, and you guys know, you guys talked about this before. We got to remember that part of what we're doing is not just creating, but it's also a business. Like, we're yeah. trying yes. to... We, we, we got to look at it that way. And so when you go into a store and the first thing they tell you behind the, the desk sometimes is, do you want to sign up for this credit card? You get 10% off today if you right. sign up right now. And then in your mind, you're like, wow, I get 10% off right away. You know what? I'll sign up, whatever. So people are always willing to do more if they're getting something back and they're saying mm -hmm. they're seeing value in what they're getting back. Right. And so, but, but as an indie, we don't, again, I'm not made out of money. This I'm not going to yeah. be like, oh, I'll give you. So what I did was I offered a PDF. I mean, it's a PDF. It's not costing me any money to right, send yeah. you a PDF. So I'm mm -hmm. not stupid. I'm not. I'm not just. You know what I mean? Like I'm. Oh yeah, yeah. Just for saying, signing up, I'll send you a print that I got to mail out. That I got <laughs> right, all these right, right. Yeah, like, printed. Yeah. 
I, that's not what I'm doing. Because, you know, yeah. obviously we also have to be strategic and smart about what we're doing. The print goes out to you when you pledge or that's if right. you pledge and only to a physical tier. And only uh, if you let me know you you signed up because I don't know who signed up. So right. you have to let me know that you signed up. So if anybody followed it and now they realize, hey, where's my print? Well, you never told me. You right. have to let me know. And if you're watching right now and you sign up, you have to let me know. You know what I mean? Like, right. I don't you're not know gonna because see that. Right. Yeah, I, we don't see the names. That's the whole reason right. for doing this because we mm -hmm. don't know who signed up early. We don't right. know. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, technically, that's a question that you could ask in your survey. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, that's, you know, so it's not like you have to guess completely. Correct. You know, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's like, it, it, there's this certain, it's kind of like a dance that we have to do <laughs> yeah. with with yeah. the, the people trying, you know, with the trying to convince people to pledge to our yeah. campaigns. Yeah. So, so right now, uh, so obviously this thing with the, the, the pre-launch really, really worked for you. Um, what's kind of, what was like the one, is that the one thing that surprised you that yes. worked? Yes. Or was there like anything else that surprised you? I mean, everything surprised me, but that particularly right, right there, I was like, oh shoot, this actually right. worked. Like this actually, people actually did sign up and did and do want to pledge to it, which I mean, if people sign up, usually they do. But like you said, the conversion rates aren't that high. Right. Right. Yeah. And I did get, and I did get, actually, somebody reached out to me, said, oh, my God, your campaign is live. I never got the email. Now, it might have gone to their, to their spam, yeah, yeah. you know, so, uh -huh. which is why they never got it. So there is that chance that they don't get. But if I have your name and if I have your information, two, two weeks, you know, into the campaign, I don't see you pledge. I can reach out, hey. By the way, the campaign is live. You know, don't forget, you still have this, you know, you can still get this print for free if you pledge. And they could say, oh, shoot, that's right. That campaign is live. You know, so I have that. I also have that that I can do, especially during the moments where the campaign's going and right. you're not getting oh, yeah. anything. And right. that's, those are the scary, the scary moments of during the campaign where you right. don't have anything going on. Well, I mean, is that something that you're planning for? Like, do you have something yes. for the middle of the campaign? Yeah, I mean, I... A lot of it, a lot of it is, is is this. A lot of it is, you know, obviously, and and, and listen, I gotta thank JD. This also. man is on fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> J, I gotta thank JD because when we had JD on the show and he, and we were asking him about Kickstarters, this was like a couple of years ago during the mm -hmm. pandemic, maybe. Yeah. We said, hey, what are some of the things that you can advise people to do? And he said, dude, get on shows. Right. Yeah. Get on as many shows before, during, you know, like get as many shows as you possibly can because that's gonna help you during those times. Yeah. And you know what? Yes, he's absolutely correct. Because as of like as of this, you know, obviously right now, I've gotten a few pledges just from being on these shows. And people may think, oh, they don't have a following. They don't have too many people. But you know what? The people watching your show are yeah. looking at, you know, are looking at us, not just for the advice that we give them or whatever, but also just for networking purposes. Right. right? Yeah. Saying, hey, right. what sure. am I doing wrong? How, how can I do things? So and even for this, for example, I'll give you an example. Right. So I have this print. This guy right here. Uh, that's, yeah. Uh -huh. and, you know, Hector Rodriguez did this piece. Big shout out to him. Sean Lee colored. Okay. So it's an it's locked right now. It's locked on the campaign. It doesn't unlock until I reach 4,000. So what I'm doing is if you are watching this right now, if you're watching me right now, and you pledge to the campaign right now while we're live on the screen right now, and you subscribe to this channel because you have to subscribe, then you get this print free with your pledge, with your physical pledge right now. You can get it, right? Mm -hmm. Even before it's unlocked. But to me, that's important because not only does it help me, but it also helps the show that I'm on because now you get a, subs a subscriber. And I think that that's, that's key. That's key. What's up, Mike? That's key. Like, I think our subscribers and people don't realize how important those things, yeah. those numbers are. Those numbers yeah. are so important to, to podcasters is just hitting yeah. that subscribe button. It doesn't cause anything. That that stuff right. is free. That yeah. stuff is free. As big it on as yeah. you know, it's so enthusiastic, and your audience is very—it's it's a loyal audience, man, and right. I love it. They're there yeah. every week. You guys, right. you guys do shows Mondays and Fridays, and they're there Mondays and Fridays. Everybody's yeah. in the chat. You call them the sexy chat. Oh yeah, it is. That's that's awesome. what that, that's our sexy chat right there. Yeah. You know? Exactly. And, and it's awesome. So why not we reward them a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> We're well, into that thing over here. So why not reward them with something? Right. You know what I mean? Like I'm just not gonna ask you for money. Hey, I'll give you something for your right, money. Yeah. Obviously, more right. than just more than whatever it is you're gonna pledge to. So, so that's another another thing that I that I kind of decided I was gonna do. You know, it's like 
So, you know, you, you got you to gotta spend money to make money. Like sometimes yeah. that, and that's the way we got to look at some of these campaigns also. I mean, I'm not saying go broke. No, you know, absolutely don't be, not. Don't yeah. be silly, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. But, you know, give, give, give people something extra, something that they're going to say, yo, you know what? I got this just for watching the show, subscribing uh -huh. and pledging. Boom. There you go. It's, it's a win-win. Right. Marvin so, wants to know who did your voice for the Wonder Duck trailer. Oh yeah, that's oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. So I um so I, I backed the campaign uh Morgan Quaid. Morgan Quaid is an artist out I, he's in the UK and he had a campaign called um Daughters Daughters uh Slaughter or something like that. But any but he had a campaign and one of his things was if you pledge to my campaign, I will raffle off a theme song to you ah. for, for your for your comic. I was like, shit. So I went in there, I pledged, <laughs> and then and I won. And he did this. So Morgan Quaid, guys, look him up. He's an amazing, amazing, funny, funny dude. I think he might have been on some. I think he might have been on on on, uh, on C. Michael's uh, show. Maybe I want to say that. I'm not sure. But he did that. He did the voice. He did the music. You know, the whole quack quack. Like he did the voice. You know, the the whole deep baritone voice. Yeah. And uh, and I love it, man. At first, yeah. I was like on the fence. I was like, wait a minute, but this is a kids comic, and it sounds a little too like you know. But it grew. It grew on right. me. Right. No. It grew. It's... I swear to God, it grew on me. It was like this is cool. So yeah. So he did yeah. that. Right. That, that's why I keep saying that, you know, that, that you guys need to, need to put together like a soundtrack or something. You know, it's like, you know, yeah. between uh, all of Sam's iterations of the Pepsi <laughs> Craze, um, know. Know. Sound, you know, uh, yeah. theme song and then this. And it's like, yeah, you guys need to put together a soundtrack. I swear. Yeah, no, it's, it's so yeah. that was fun. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So shout out to everybody in the chat, yes. you know, doing doing your thing there. It's like, who, who's in the chat now? It's like we have Grant, uh, Grant, Mike. Allison, Mike, Mike, Jimmy, Marvy. Uh, going to scroll, scroll. Me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Not even attempting, but right. hello and welcome. All right. <laughs> Because, you know, yeah. it'd be like, that was some racist bullshit. No, no it was a <laughs> mispronunciation, motherfucker. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. It's Thank Finn. You. That's okay. Finn. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's true. It that is true. Like, nobody can pronounce it. <laughs> So why don't we? Uh, so yeah. So why don't we uh, pull up the campaign and talk sure. about it a bit? So yeah. yeah so here it. it is: The Adventures of Wonder Duck. Nothing to muse on Kickstarter right now. Sixteen days left to go. Um, look at that! You're, you're just four dollars. Four dollars. Somebody, somebody plus four dollars. Four bucks. Man, over three thousand dollars. <laughs> Don't don't yeah. don't don't leave campaign at obnoxious numbers like that's that. That's <laughs> so funny, right? Speaking four bucks, I'm like, wow, that's yeah, amazing. yeah. So so yeah, so you said so. This is the fourth issue uh, of fifth. Wonder Duck. Continue. Oh, the fifth. Right. fifth. Yeah. Uh, continuing from the uh, the trade paperback. So yes. uh, give us the the recap. I, I guess like just give us the rundown. Yeah. Of, so. So, so for every, anybody who picked up or who've picked up the book in the past, they know. So this, what I did was in, in the campaign, I decided to do a little recap, a little previously on the adventures of Wonder Duck, you know, one of those things where I, and this is inside the book where I, I gave you basically just a quick rundown of what happened. So Dr. Muse, who's the, the, the duck there with the purple, he created the, the, the suit, the Wonder Duck suit. And it was supposed to be to outfit an army of soldiers for his planet, but he committed committed treason and decided to use those suits for some for another for their for their I guess their enemy, and so he gets caught. So here I have a, an image of him creating the suit. They come in, they catch him. He decides to get rid of it. It ends up in another planet where it, it struck Duke Dolby, who's our our Clark Kent, and turns him into Wonder Duck. And so then I gave you a preview of what happens to him after he's captured in his home planet and what they're going to do to him. Now, these two nefarious characters come in and we think they're going to save him and find out what happens in the pages of the book. And that's basically what this fifth chapter kind of is. It's, it's nothing to news. It's, it's, a, it's the story behind why he did why he did and what the consequences for his actions are going to be. So that's what the book is for. And that's what chapter five is, essentially. Yeah, it's cool. So, um, and, and oh, what's kind of like the, what, what's your recommendation in terms of levels? 
like someone's coming oh, in yeah. they're they're seeing this for the first time it's like so what would you recommend for them to uh to pledge on yeah no obviously i mean if you want to just get the book you know the, the ten dollar um pledge for the book is you know you get the digital copy and then, and then the book yeah. But my favorite, one of my favorite ones, and even if you want to do this as an add-on, is I linked up with uh, Comic Books for Kids. This is a, an organization based out of uh, Chicago that sends uh, comics to kids in hospitals and um, and, uh, and and just uh, cancer centers. So what I did was I created a tier called the Wonder Kids tier, and basically what happens is when you pledge to that tier, five comics go to the hospitals, and then you get to choose uh your cover that you want so i have three covers so i have the main cover i have the homage cover which an, which is an homage nice to, one, yeah. to yeah. amazing spider-man number 300 and then i have the one that i did remember i told you i quit drawing well i decided <laughs> to pick up the pencil and uh and i there decided to do a cover for for my book so you get to choose which book which uh cover you want and that's 35 dollars. now if you decide no you know what but i want like the trading card or whatever you want you can add it on as a as an add-on, so I have tons of just add-ons that you can that you can add. You can even add the uh, the five comics to the to the uh, to the kids in the add-ons as well. And then if you want to catch up on the uh, on the first four chapters, there is a digital catch-up, so you can get the digital catch-up for for ten bucks. Right? Do you have a level that's uh, with the 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 first trade and yes. issue file. Okay, so, yes. so you, you got everybody covered yes. pretty much. Yes, if so, you do yeah. want, yeah, and I have a trading card that's that, that's uh, that's limited to 500 copies, uh, 500, 500 cards basically, but it's, it's one card, it's just 500, uh, and it's serialized. So you, it's 500, so you get one of 500, two of 500, three of 500, uh -huh. so that's also uh, part of it. And then this is the crew that helped out uh, put together some of the, some of the reward, well, some of the covers and obviously the prints. So these are the guys. Uh -huh. So yeah, so uh, so of oh, oh, there's Judy. <laughs> yeah, and the, and there's uh, Cat Cat and Piggy right. Will, Muscle Alice's book. Oh, so, and the Nebulizer. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. So um, so yeah, because that's also a, a thing that uh, I, I realized really worked for me on my last campaign as well is is doing all these little cross promotion yeah. like trading links yeah, and, and stuff help. with uh, other help. campaigns yeah so you're you're just about halfway through your campaign it's yes. like so so what's what's kind of the thing so is like would you have done aside from making sure that that, that kickstarter didn't glitch out on you um uh, <laughs> was there anything so far that you think that oh i should have done this differently I think the, I guess, putting together these appearances on shows, I think I probably should have done the bulk of the shows during the second, during the second week mm -hmm. rather than the first, maybe just organizing where you're doing your, your, um, your interviews. And it's tough because as a, as a little guy, some of the big shows don't see you have enough numbers or enough to kind of put you on there. Um, you know, so that's kind of tough. And, you know, obviously you have to work around your own schedule and, you know, have a nine to five and stuff like that. But I think, I think just scheduling that stuff out, I think I would have done a little different. Um, I, I, I'm still kind of processing some of the things that, and I think I, I'm sure that at the end of the campaign, when oh, I look absolutely. back on it, I'll be yeah. like, damn, I probably should have done that. Right now I'm still like, I'm still in hustle mode. So I still haven't been able to reflect on some of those things, but I did, that was one of the things that I did think I'm like, damn, I, I packed a lot of my shows at the beginning of the, of like the first week, which is the week that you're supposed to be like still in your honeymoon phase, oh, right? Everybody yeah. still loves your book and they want to support it. It's during that second, third. And sometimes even if you go 30 days, that fourth, mm -hmm. well, no, the fourth week is actually also the good one. Cause it's like right. the last week and everybody's like, Oh shoot, I forgot about that book. And they right. go in there and play. Mm -hmm. So it's those two weeks. I think I probably should have packed, more shows in those two weeks versus right. um, just that that first week. So I think that people should keep that in mind. Just pack those shows during the second and third week. Mm. Now, now the thing is, though, now you have a nine to five, right? Yeah, uh, you have, I'm actually you, there you now. have the day job, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. So, um, so how do you balance? How do you find a balance between doing these books? and the campaigns and everything and having to do with the night having to deal with a nine to five i mean not a lot of people can can afford to stay home and do this full time and you know and there's absolutely 
no shame in having an actual, you know, a a, a job, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, an course. outside job. I mean, that's just the reality for, for a lot of us. So yeah. how do you manage your time when it comes with that? It, it, it sucks because I feel like I'm the most creative during the day, right? Like yeah. that's when I'm the most creative and that's when I'm at work. It's It sucks. But what I try to do is I try like during my breaks, like lunchtime or something like that, I'll, I'll always have like a, a, a pad and, you know, and, and pen or whatever. And I'm always constantly writing or doing stuff like that, where like now once I'm off from work, I can go in and, you know, after I spend some time with the girlfriend and, and, you know, have some dinner and stuff like that, I can go in and I can just, you know, continue, whether it's drawing, lettering or working on something. What I've also done is obviously the commitment, right? So I've committed myself to Tuesdays and Wednesdays recording shows with Sam for Cash the Craze. Mm -hmm. So before we go live and maybe an hour after I go live, because we're still in that, you know, whenever you talk yeah. shop, that's when yeah. you're also more hyped up yeah. about creating yes. and doing yeah. that kind of yeah. stuff. So that's when I jump on, boom, I, start, I work on more stuff during that time. So I try mm -hmm. to balance it that way. It doesn't always work, um, but that's what I try to do. I try to do as much of that. And also just getting on the phone and talking to, to whether it's Sam, Aníbal, or John, I just, I feel like you need that sometimes just to talk to somebody about some creative stuff just to keep you motivated and, and not letting right. those things get in your head like you suck, you're dumb, you're right, yeah, doing, yeah. stupid. You know, like just having a creative just conversation with somebody right. on the phone helps just keep you going. You know what I mean? It's 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 tough. It's not right. easy. And and also you, you mentioned uh, the girlfriend too, which is also another thing yeah. that it's like, that so I, I'm assuming that she's supportive of, of oh, what yeah. you do. You oh, yeah. She wasn't. You wouldn't imagine. Or there would be a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. no that, she, that's a tough. Yeah, it's a tough. It thing, is. Yeah. It is. It is. It, it's it, like and and listen. Sometimes I'm like, damn, I, I I'm jealous of like what you guys have because you guys do this, but JD is is a writer, so you guys have that in common. Right. Nita, C. Michael, amazing artist, so he's got that going on, and you know, you guys. So you guys kind of like have that commonality, whereas, you know, my girlfriend works in public relations. However, oh. however, she was also, and I got to give her a big shout out because she was also instrumental in some of the strategy ideas and said, George, don't just do that. Do this also. Try that. You know, like, we'll look, see, at, it, look at it this way. Yeah, no, no. So she was, so I got to give her huge props for just putting some of those things in my head, like treat it like this, you know, listen, as much as we want to be, you know, non PC and stuff like that. Something that I tell, I, I, I tell uh, people all the time, give people the least amount of reasons not to buy your shit. You know what right. I mean? Right, exactly. You, you, yeah. Listen, I, I, I agree with 100% a lot of the stuff that, that we talk about and we say, because it's some of that stuff like Nita you, has to be said, right? Thank you. Um, yeah. when, when, when I'm promoting my stuff, though, however, I try to say, okay, well, listen, I, I'm in the middle of, like, this is promotion time. Let me promote the book and stay away from any side conversations that I may have. It's all about the book right now. Hyper right. Fo hyper focused on this book right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and and that's a tough gig. That's yeah. a tough gig because we have we we all have you know our views and our opinions, and we do this also. So we also this is a show about opinions and views, right? Because this is what it is. So it, it's it's a tough it's such a tough line, but I think people respect honesty, right? And I think that, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta try to try to balance all of that, but yeah, no big shout out to her. Cause she does help me out with some of that. Stuff there you also. go. But, but you make, but you make sure to, to keep time for her. Oh yeah. As well. oh, yeah. Cause I know, cause I know that weekends is hard for you the to weekends, do interviews. Yes. Cause that's like off limits, right? Yeah, like, like last night I had two interviews, um, big shout out to Ted Davis you guys, Ted Davis, you know uh -huh. him and Russell Allen. I was on his show last night. So that, that was tough. Cause it's Sunday night, you know, you want to, you want to chill and just watch some TV and both, right, you know, yeah. bullshit, but you know, she also understands, dude, like I, I got you, like, you got to do right. this. I understand this right. is, this is, you know, but, it's a business in, in yeah. a sense, you know? So, but yeah, but also being in PR, she knows the cycles. Yeah. Right. Too. So right. yeah, yeah. It, it, it helps that, you know, yeah. It, it, so it's like, so yeah, so that's, it, it, it's these common issues that we don't think about until right. it's like, we're kind of like in the middle of it, yeah. you know, and yeah. it's like, oh, wait, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, but, it's uh, but yeah, so we're just hitting the top of the hour, George, I just want to congratulate you Thank again you. for you. a gangbusters campaign. Mm -hmm. it. Um, it. Yeah. It, it's like, 
you know, you still have 16 days to go. Yes. Let's get George, let's get George to five. Woo. Come on, people. Let's get George let's to five. 16 days. We can do oh this. My God. At know? least so close our brains start dripping out. No, it's real. <laughs> if, if he can make if he can make three, well, short of four dollars, but if short he of four dollars. Three in in the amount of time that he did, he can make two extra, two extra more. Oh. And here's <laughs> five at the end of the that campaign. Would be incredible. That so would be let's help Joe. Do, uh, let's 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 get George <laughs> there. See, I told you the names are bad today. <laughs> let's get George to five. So thank you uh, again for for coming. Um, no, thank you. Definitely, we're going to have to talk to you after your campaign to see if any yes. of, your, of your opinions have changed. Yes, <laughs> right, right. yes, yes. You know? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this, man. That, like the way this is, I mean, I, I love what's happening, but it's so draining. I'm like, yo, yeah. I don't know how you guys do. Like, you have so many campaigns, and I'm like, how? Like, that's amazing well, it, to me. It's amazing. Well, it's, it's well, you see, the thing is, it's like, like, like. JD especially, he's constantly running campaigns so he doesn't get that downtime, that True. that downward spir spiral that happens after a campaign ends. Because yeah. it's yeah. like, when a campaign ends, he's like miserable. <laughs> and after this last campaign that I did, I, I understood what, what he meant. I think it was the first time I really like, I need another campaign. I need another campaign. You know, it's like, You're addicted. Um, You're addicted. yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah you get caught <laughs> up in it but you really do need that downtime you kind of yeah. have to calm down a bit reassess everything fulfill your campaign and okay. then you can do another one yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. thank you allison <laughs> yeah so yeah so thanks to everybody in the chat uh thank you everybody who's watching us uh right now um we will be back uh, Friday with a, another episode of the Raging Two, uh, and uh, yeah, it'll we're be, gonna uh, bitch. Yeah, we're yeah. It's like uh, <laughs> Nina, Nina, especially needs uh, to bitch on Friday. It's a meditated it. bitch fest. Yeah, but that's what we do here. So you guys are all used to that. So so yeah. So we will be back Friday at 11 a.m. Um, I have my Wednesday live stream. Finally, my office is is uh, fixed enough that I can bring back the live stream on Wednesday. So I will be back nice. Wednesday at 4 p.m. And uh, yeah, and, and that's it for us. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, George, for joining us. Like I thank said, you. get his his campaign. Uh, the Adventures of Wonder Duck links are in the chat and in the show Everything's notes. Everything's going to be in the show notes before we publish. Right. So. And yeah, and on that note, uh, George, tell everybody where they can find you. Yeah, the, probably the best place to find me is on my website, getyourmedswithaz.com. It's a play on my last name. That's all that is. So getyourmedswithaz.com. Um, you can also find me on Instagram, obviously, at get underscore your underscore meds. I have a link tree on there for all my other places where you can find me on Twitter, on Facebook. Um, I have my Wonder Duck page that's on there as well. And uh, yeah, if you want to reach out to me, definitely go to the website, send me a message, and uh, you know we'll chat. All right, Nina, tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, they can find me all over Raging Two. They can find me at c underscore chaos two four seven on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, there that's you go. about it. And if you're interested in seeing more of my work, you can head over to my main portfolio site at egoworks.com, E-G-O-W-O-R-K-S, where you can find links to all of my galleries and social media sites, but I mostly post to Facebook if you're into seeing sketches and current work in progress. My little dippy doodles are coming back. And uh, and also you can catch me on YouTube at Daphne Lage Art, L-A-G-E, uh, for my weekly live streams as well so there you have it thank you everybody and as always eat your food moisturize actually the elbows elbows over your elbows oh you know, mind, your why. <laughs> <laughs> mind your business and do the work because when you actually do the work like this guy right here oh. you know you do the work you never have to fake your accomplishments so be proud of what you do and and just 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 do the work it, 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 that's really the, the only advice everybody needs you know just just do the work it's worth it don't worry <laughs> so on that 
we'll uh we'll see everybody on friday oh and don't forget to subscribe hit the, yeah, bell, hit the hit button the and the whole thing like, you know, all this know. amazing product here yeah like exactly content. it's like look it's like yeah it's like you'll get notified whenever any of these shows go live you know how it works here you guys are smart that's why you're here you guys why you're hanging out with the cool kids <laughs> so so there you have it so we'll see you next time bye bye Thank uh-huh.